Hey YouTubers and gamers, I am Cybersnake7 and yes this is Cyber Sunday Pickup Show. Before I start though this week I'm going to have a little story to tell you. Basically this afternoon a great YouTuber PM me, uh, Undead Space Monkey one and basically said congratulations on 100 subs. And I thought, hmm, I don't remember having 100 subs. I haven't been on YouTube for a couple of days so I haven't checked. And lo and behold, 100 subs. Superb, I says. I'm going to get myself a video on the go, thanking everybody, as you do. But within 10 minutes of me even thinking about doing this, I had a subscriber unsubscribe from my channel, which took me down to 99 subs. So, all I can say is I'm sorry to see that YouTuber unsubscribe from my channel. <clears throat> uh, I hope he comes back in the future. I hope he enjoyed what he watched. Um, but the end of the day hopefully I do get a few more YouTubers subscribe to my channel and enjoy my channel and not forgetting the 99 subs who already are enjoying and watching and leaving great comments to my channel I want to thank you all for staying with me and enjoying my channel there's plenty more to come but anyway let's get on with the show and we're going to start with the PS2 title this title I've been lazy about getting and believe me I'm glad I've got it because it completes a series of games on the PS2 which I needed to complete and it's this one which is Silent Hill Origins thankfully I bought this game at last I paid fairly cheap for it, it's about £6 brand new and sealed but I've wanted this game for a while because I really do want to finish off my Silent Hill collections and as I say fantastic it is finished now on the PS2 the Silent Hill collection and I've not played this yet but I know it's a port from the PSP but prefer to be played on the PS2 but that's the first game that is Silent Hill Origins and moving on to the PS3 um, obviously I had Silent Hill Homecoming um, and I did want the latest one but I've had and read bad things about it but I seen it on a website PlayAsia uh, for £11.50 brand new the American NTSC version so I thought I'm having that for £11.50 so I did there it is Silent Hill Downpour um, as I say reviews haven't been the greatest but at the end of the day it's down to the individual that's what I say um, now I liked Homecoming and that really didn't have great reviews but I enjoyed that personally I thought it was a very good game so if this is anything like num um, a Homecoming I'll be happy but there you go, that brings my Silent Hill collection up to date on the PS3. That's Silent Hill Downpour. Now all I'm after for the Silent Hill collection is Shattered Memories on the Wii. Once I get hold of that one, happy days. But anyway, that's the Silent Hill kind of up to date. Moving on to some Genesis now. Obviously, I've been getting a lot of shmups for the Genesis recently. Especially Genesis title shmups. Um, I bought Lightning Force, which is Thunder Force 4, for the Genesis, so I thought I'm going to finish off the Thunder Force collection. So I bought myself this one, which is Thunder Force 3, for the Genesis. Brilliant game, uh, brilliant condition, and this one, specifically, I do remember more than Thunder Force, so I thought it was the other way around. But after playing this one, I remember everything in this game, and this is the one I played more of than Thunder Force 4. But nevertheless pristine condition, great instruction manual and great um, cartridge but the only thing about the Genesis titles which I don't like are the black and white bland instructions and no picture quality inside that really lets down the Genesis titles in general but never mind I've still got it and I'm thankfully uh, I'm going to enjoy this one so there you go that is Thunder Force 3 for the Genesis then I got myself or needed Thunder Force 2 but to be honest I weren't really going to shell out that sort of money for the Genesis title because it's not my favourite of the series to be honest but I still wanted to collect it anyway and get it in the collection so I bought it on the Japanese version instead uh, which cost me only £10 instead of paying £20 to £30 for the Genesis version so I got Thunder Force 2 on the the Japanese version still got English writing down the side which I'm pretty chuffed about Japanese on the back obviously but the actual case and the game and the instructions are in pristine condition as you can see but uh, 
happy to have got this one for the price that I paid for it because as I say it's not my favourite but I needed it to collect uh, and have in the collection so I finish off my Thunder Force collection so that is another collection finished my Thunder Force collection on the Mega Drive slash Genesis now this game I was bidding on with another game called Raid and Trad uh, that was a shooter um, very hard to come by on the Genesis um, but I lost out on Raid and Trad and I ended up getting the second game which is hopefully this is how I pronounce it Gary's uh, and this is a, a real good shooter up for the uh, Genesis um, I think it's slightly a bit more sought after on the Japanese version I'm assuming but this let itself down again with the artwork on the cartridge which is bland and boring yet again nice artwork on the instruction manual but yet again it's also black and white boring monochrome no detail no nothing like that so this points me about the Genesis games the instruction manual really really does but it's not all about that it's about the game but never mind, never mind. There it is, a perfect condition Gary's, and I'm happy to have that one. But I will be after Raid and Trad again, believe me. But that's Gary's for the Genesis. Now, moving on to three games. Three games I had um, off. Well, two I had off a eBayer, um, which I found out was a great YouTuber. And I've now subscribed to him. I'll leave his channel details down below. His name is Crash Test Gaming. Now this guy, he lives seriously about 15-20 minutes away from me. Um, it's a small world. And I think uh, SNES, Tastic does know this guy. Because I've watched some of Tastic videos. And he has mentioned him in his videos. So I bought two fantastic Super Nintendo games. off in absolutely wicked condition. Um, not a blemish on them. And it's given me the bug again to actually start collecting Super NES games again. Um, especially the NTSC versions. So the first one I had off him uh, was this one. Which is Aladdin. And as you can see there isn't a mark or a blemish on this game whatsoever. Um, brilliant game. Um, I had this originally on the PAL version. But um, to rebuy this and get it on the American, I'm very, very, very happy. Um, this isn't, a, uh, definitely isn't the best version of Aladdin. The best version, obviously, is on the Genesis or the Mega Drive. But it's still a very, very good uh, conversion of Aladdin. I'm not disappointed with it, but to get it in this condition and a great price, I might add, um, is, or should I say, I am very happy, full stop. I am very happy to own this. But that is game number one. That is Aladdin for the American SNES. And I will get covers for these. I haven't got no covers if you've noticed. Uh, because I've um, got none. So I've got to buy some. But anyway, moving on. And he had another game I bought. Um, and as soon as I seen it, because I tried to get this from America. And they wanted crazy prices for it, including postage. And it would have cost a fortune. But he made uh, me, me. I just I had to buy this game when I seen it in the quality and the condition it's in, and for a good price, and very low postage. I bought this, which is Super R Type. Uh, as you can see again, absolutely mint condition. The instructions are there, the manuals there, the paperwork's there. You know, it's in a baggie. Um, the only other thing about Aladdin that had no sleeve on it at the bottom, but that I can deal with. As long as these boxes are in pristine condition and the games look exactly the same, I'm a happy man. But yeah, absolutely fantastic two games I bought off uh, Crash Test Gaming. So thanks a lot, guy. You're a top man. Uh, brilliant, and I will be buying more from you, trust me. Um, but there you go. That is the second game uh, from him which I bought, which is Super R-Type. Now on to the game, for me the game I've wanted for about 5 years, no questions, it's one of the most sought after games for me that I've been after ever since, I, really, even a lot, well you're talking 10 years, I don't know, I mean this must have come out in the mid 90s, so you're talking at least 10 years, easy, 
but I've been looking for it for a good five, six years, and I've had no chance. I mean, the best, the best chance I had was about six or seven years ago, and it was like I lost it, and it went for two hundred pound then. Um, but the story goes with this: is nowadays this game is probably worth four hundred pound for the cartridge and into a thousand for a boxed version but it's not about the money and the fucking profit I don't want the money and the profit I want the game and I have the game it's right here in my hands right here now many of you might not recognize this game most of you might but uh, the story goes I was in the pub two weeks ago talking about games to my friend as you do and the barman who just started says, oh, my dad, he deals with games. I said, oh, yeah. I said, what can you get? He said, ask more or less anything you want. So I asked for this specific game. I thought, we'll test him out. Because you yeah, had I might have a copy of that. I went, yeah, OK. All right. A week later, he brings one in. He said, I've only got the one, mind you. And I said, yeah, OK, you got the one. But how much do you want for that one? And I was scared to ask, trust me. Um... But he says to me, give me 80 quid for it. And I've never, never, never in my life had a feeling come over me like it. Because the relief was amazing. The relief and the give me that game now before I rip it off, rip it off your arm. Um, was the, the, the feeling was unbelievable. But this is the game I asked for. Now, many of you, as I say, might not recognise it. Some of you might, but it's this little number. Rendering Ranger R2 for the Super Famicom. Now this game is a beauty. Trust me, this game is sought after beyond measure. It is seriously sought out, sought after beyond measure. This game goes for money, seriously. And for me to pick this up off a stranger I'd met a week ago for 80 quid, I'm... In all man, I'm absolutely fucking up there. This is the this is the GM for me. This is the GM in my title, in title GM in my collection. End of. Um, this was obviously made by the guys who made Turrican. Um, it took four years to make, and it came out in Japan in major limited quantities. Uh, but it's definitely like if anybody's played Gunlord. Uh, it's like a run and gun, and it's also got uh, side-scrolling shmup sections in the game. Uh, but, boy, they use the Mode 7 in this to its full capacity. I mean, the game is absolutely brilliant. If you want to check this out, go check it out on the YouTube channels. Um, or I might even do a video of this myself, because this game is amazing. I absolutely wanted this game for years. And to get it, excuse me, for the price that I've picked it up for, 80 smackers it's the best 80 quid I've ever threw away in my life to get a game but this good and this rare so there you have it guys that game is a gem for me personally my ultimate game I've got the best game I could ever want in my collection if anybody asks me what's your favourite game what's the game you've always been after this is the one so there you have it guys that is Rendering Ranger R2 for the Super Famicom. My dream has come true, and I actually own it. But there you go. That is it, guys. That is my Cyber Sunday pickups with the over-exaggerated end to the best game I've ever found. But I don't care. Um, but anyway, um, that is the last for this week, guys. Um, it might be a slow couple of weeks because I really need to save... Um, but I am going to the Play Expo next week. Anybody's there, I'll see you there. Uh, look out for me, because I'll certainly be looking out for you. Um, but as I say, it could be next week. It may miss a week. It may be every other week uh, for the pickup show, because it is going to be slow for me. But until then, guys, I am just hope you enjoyed the show. Glad you're watching. And as always, I am Cybersnake7. Keep playing. Keep watching. Bye,